Hi. Uh, what I'm about to do is read a uh, dialogue I had with a Muslim that evolves into a series. Um, and the series, from what comes about uh, through this dialogue, I will name, O oh Muslim, what are the lamps if they are not stars? Uh, the Quran says that uh, Allah beautified the sky with lamps and that they are used as missiles against the Satan uh, to keep Satan from spying on Allah. And uh, this Muslim comes up with creative ways to try to uh, uh, show that uh, the Quran wasn't written by a, uh, 20, uh, by a 7th century caveman. But I'll let you decide whether or not he does a great job of defending the Quran, and with what with, with he comes up to try to answer that. But anyway, it takes a little while for me to get there. But uh, from one thing, the first Muslim I'm talking to is not the one. Yeah, uh, this Muslim I'm talking to at the beginning is called Anib Anib, whereas the one that we get into the idea of what the lamps could be if they're not stars. His name is Sabid Sabid. Maybe he changed his name. I'm not really sure. But anyway, when I read my words, I'll use this side of my face. When I use his, that side. Okay. What if things were reversed and you had to pay a high extortion tax? Jizya. Until you said, quote, I bear witness that Allah is more than one. That Mickey Mouse is the one true God. And Goofy is his messenger. And instead of bowing to Mecca five times a day, uh, you had to bow to Disneyland. Or if you weren't uh, paying that high tax jizya, uh, you could be killed, your wife raped, first part of Quran 424, and your kids sold off into slavery, Quran 2, 178, 65, verse 4. Uh, would you have a problem with that? Under ISIS, jizya, the jizya tax, was 85% of what a Christian man earned, or he would be killed, his wife raped, first part of Quran 424, and his little daughter married, um, see Quran uh, 65 verse 4. They are not disrespected. The Prophet Muhammad let people choose their own religion and did not force any type of taxation on any person due to their religious standpoint. There was a time where a Jewish funeral was passing by the Prophet and he stood up and gave his condolence to the people. He respected all religions. That sounds like good takia. Line for Allah on your part. For Quran 929 is uh, where the only way a Christian or Jew is not killed, fought, is when he is paying the extortion tax, jizya, when he is not a full-on Muslim. I just told you about the verse. You said Christians and Jews will only not be killed if they pay taxes, and you should know that Quran was written thousands of years ago when there was conflict and war between Muslims, Jews, and Christians. Obviously, there would be verses like these in wartime, and they are only directed to the Jews and Christians who are trying to attack us, not to those Christians or Jews who don't want any violence like I said before. The thing is, if a Jew or Christian does not pay the extortion tax, the jizya, which Quran 929 is famous for talking about, um, if they, they don't pay the extortion tax, the jizya, for not being a full-on Muslim, how is he not seen as being at war with Islam and thus seen as doing mischief in the land? See Quran 533. By the way, I see you're trying to get the notion across that it's just a tax. Well, that is not totally true. Zakat is less than jizya, or there would be no Islam. Jizya is an extortion tax, and under ISIS, it was 85% of what a Christian earned, or he was killed, his wife raped, and his daughter was, uh, was raped as well, if she was attractive enough to be sold into slavery, which is fine with the first part of Quran 424, 
and how it's reported handed down in Muslim 834, 32, and especially Sunan Abu Dawud 2, 2150 or 2155, depending on the translation in translation into English. Okay, that the Mickey Mouse thing was funny. Got to hand it to you, but ISIS is not a Muslim group. They claim to be Muslim, but they clearly aren't. Those taxes are you, those taxes you are talking about were used thousands of years ago when they were clashing with Jews and Christians and they were only directed to the Jews and Christians who's, who, were attack, who, who were attack innocent Muslim bystanders and the tax was a response. Basically like a punishment to the Jews and Christian solid soldiers who attacked and killed innocent Muslim bystanders. They were put in place if the Muslim army didn't want to kill them. And this was used thousands of years ago. Again, where Muslims, kill Christians, Jews, and other religions didn't look as any of these punishments as inhuman or anything. In Quran 929, where the extortion tax is mentioned, called Jizya, just being a Jew or Christian is seen as attacking Muslims. And the only remedy to keep from getting keep from killing Jews and Christians is if they can if the Jews and Christians convert to Islam or pay the extortion tax and feel themselves subdued. So, in a way, you are right. Attacking innocent Muslims is a Christian or Jew who refuses to pay the extortion tax. By the way, again, what if things were reversed and you had to pay a high extortion tax, jizya, yeah, until you said, I bear witness that Allah is more than one, that Mickey Mouse is the one true God, and Goffey is his messenger. And instead of bowing to Mecca five times a day, you had to bow to Disneyland, or if you weren't paying that high extortion tax, jizya, yeah, you could be killed, your wife raped, first part of Cran 424, and your kids sold off into slavery, Cran 4, to 178, Quran 65, verse 4. Would you have a problem with that? Under ISIS, Jizya was 85% of what a Christian was a Christian man earned, or he was killed, his wife raped, first part of Quran 424, and his little daughter married, Quran 65, verse 4. And you know that Muslim never responded, but another Muslim did instead, and this is what he said. Wrong! In, two, in Quran 2, verse 62, it clearly says that Christians, Jews, and whoever believes in God and the last day of judgment and act righteous will go to heaven. Sorry to say, but you're not part of that category. Because I'm a Jew or Christian who thinks and questions Islam? How come I'm not on par of that category? How come? Have fun and help. If a religion, if a religious book, the Quran, that teaches the sky is an object that can fall on you, if not held up by all is true, then perhaps I will. You're ignorant and in denial. Watch this video and educate yourself. And he sees the video. I see the video. Okay, and then I say this. This is what I put in my comment section of that video you sent me. I say this. The Quran has more than one version of it in Arabic. As a matter of fact, there was a time that six versions of the Quran were ordered to burned due to having so many differences. Also, the Quran blows it badly with science and reason. I say reason because the Quran teaches that when Solomon died, no one realized he was dead due to him dying standing up. So long and standing up dead so long that it gave time for a termite or worm to eat away his staff and only then found out to be dead when his staff gave way from that termite or worm, causing his dead body to fall over. No mention in the quote clear signs of people stopping what they're doing and asking, gee, Solomon has been standing in one place so long that I'm noticing that a termite or worm from the earth is really uh, making headway in eating away his staff. Oh, wow! After years of standing, his staff finally gave out and he fell, ju and he fell just now. Oh, wow! He's dead! He's been dead all this long! 
I mean, you'd think the, quote, clear signs would have someone saying that, but no. Why? Why? Because Muhammad couldn't reason. And neither can people like you who follow him. You're standardizing the vandalization of a holy book. The only time that book was holy was after I put a bunch of bullets into it while giving Quran scriptures as to why I was pumping it full of bullets. Bring evidence of the existence of the other Quran versions then. It would be more fun if you asked where in the Quran is Solomon standing dead for so long that it gave a termite a worm to eat away his staff and only then do people realize he was standing dead for so long. But you want evidence of the existence of other Quran versions in English, uh, in Arabic. Won't you just say that those Hadiths were, are, are, th won't you say those uh, Hadiths are uh, uh, weak and fabricated even though they were, they are Sahih sound Hadiths? By the way, are you familiar with Shabir Ali? He's the number one Islamic scholar who started opening the door to many versions of the Hadith, of, of the Quran, followed by Muhammad Hijab a couple of months ago. You sure you want to go there? Still within for your response. Which response? Too many Korans in, in, in Arabic? To the Quran saying Solomon uh, stood standing dead so long it gave time for a termite or worm to eat away his staff? Which, which response do you want? By the way, the Solomon argument is the only reasonable one that you have made. Argument for what? The Quran is, th that the Quran is crazy for having Solomon standing dead for so long and no one knowing he's been standing dead for so long that it gave time for his staff to be eaten away, from, away by a termite or a worm? You sure you want to agree, agree with, uh, with that when you're a Muslim? Matter of fact, it's not. Hey, change your mind fast, I see. You believe that God can create the entire universe but not cause a man's death to go unnoticed? Where in the Quran or even the before scriptures Bible does it say that Allah was blinding people from the fact that Solomon only was discovered dead when he fell down from his staff being eaten away? And if he did, oh, and if it does, if it does say why, if it does say it, then why? Of course it doesn't. Shame on you. You still haven't brought evidence of the existence of other Qurans. Seems like you're lying then. Well again, where in the Quran or even the before scriptures Bible does it say that Allah was blinding people from the fact that Solomon only was discovered dead when he fell down from his staff being eaten away? Where's the mention of them being blind, Allah blinding them to this? And if it does, why? And he doesn't mention it. Anyway, then I say this. Boy, it's hot in here. I'm sorry, I'm sweating here. And if, I, if I'm not lying, and there are other versions of the, of the Quran in Arabic that differ, well, what would that mean to you? Think, please. It's called God's will. What God wants happens. So, if Allah wants to change the Quran, how can we believe the Quran when it says it can't be changed? What else can we not believe about it? That wouldn't mean much to me. Again, if the Quran says no one can change all his words, yet there are many version, different versions of the Quran in Arabic. Now, well, what else is the Quran wrong about? Depends on the, what was different in each Quran. What would be a big enough change in the Quran to change all his words for you. There are still scientific signs in the Quran nobody can reject. Miracles of Quran.com such as, can you name one? The only one I can think of is when the Quran calls an ant a he. It calls it a her. But so does the Bible. Yet all Muslims believe the book, Bible, the Quran says it confirms to be corrupted. I gotta stop it here.